The precautionary principle is something to be careful of. This is something that the sustainability movement uses as its reason for taking away human rights, property rights. And the idea is, well, yeah, the science isn't settled really truly. Uh, you know, they make it look like it is, but the science isn't really settled on whether or not the climate is changing more than it has in any other hundred year period throughout human history or prior to human history. There's, there's no conclusive evidence of this. Many, many, many scientists disagree. Many disagree and don't say anything because they know that they will no longer get government grants and, and they'll be ostracized because the, the right thing to do is to believe in severe climate change and we have to take action. So this, is, this, uh, this whole idea of the precautionary principle, this is what it is. Well, yes, we know that the ice, the amount of ice on Earth is actually uh, increasing instead of decreasing, as was predicted by uh, Alvin Gore and all the, the, the people who, who worried about global warming. Okay, well, so we see it's getting cooler. Well, now we see it's getting warmer. Well, the sea levels, well, maybe they're not decreasing. Maybe they're going up. Well, well maybe now they're going down. Whatever it is, we don't know. But the precautionary principle, why don't we just be careful? Why don't we act as though there is something absolutely horrible and scary happening and make laws affecting our neighbors as if the worst case scenario was happening? So now our neighbors can't use plastic bags at grocery stores. Now we have to drive smaller vehicles, don't carry all of our stuff. Now we have to, to have millions, billions of dollars stolen from us through taxes to have extra bike lanes and bicycle this and that and all kinds of money going into electric and air and not uh, what's the, what's the, uh, the windmills and all these other alternative energy sources. Why? The precautionary principle. Even though we don't know that there's a problem, let's assume that there is and let's change everything. Well, friends, that's not a smart thing to do. That is not smart at all. Now, if it doesn't require changing your life materially, if it doesn't require taking away rights from your neighbors, if it doesn't require bad stuff, then yeah, why not be a little bit careful? But where it's not as okay, where it's not okay at all, is when you start hurting other people when you start taking away their property, their rights, because you think that maybe, just maybe, something bad might someday happen. So the precautionary principle, why don't we just be careful? This is very much like saying, there are a lot of black people in prison, so why don't we just kill every black baby? Because it's a precautionary principle. We don't know they're going to be a criminal, and I know hundreds of millions and billions of black children throughout history have been wonderful people, but because in one country there's a, there's a large number that are in prison, let's do the precautionary principle and kill all the babies. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You're smarter than that. You're smarter than that. Don't buy into the precautionary principle.